So if you think you have a bad throttle position sensor, I thought I'd go over the symptoms of a bad throttle position sensor and how you go about telling if it has gone bad. And so what are some symptoms of a bad throttle position sensor? Well, the engine light could come on. You could have a rough or uneven idle. You might see a drop in fuel economy. The idle can surge at certain times. Some vehicles will go into limp mode. Sometimes the engine will stall. Like you stop at a stoplight or something like that, the engine can stall out. And there can also be problems when you go to accelerate. And so what is the throttle position sensor? Well, the throttle position sensor is located on the throttle body and it basically measures how open this plate gets right here inside of the throttle body. When you go to step on the gas, this plate is gonna open and as you do, more air is going to rush into the engine. And the TPMS sensor is located right here. It's measuring this plate opening. And the onboard computer is using this information along with other sensors to measure how much air is going into the engine and adjusting the air-fuel ratio mixture as you do this. And the TPMS sensor is basically a potentiometer or variable resistor that the resistance changes as it turns. And the basics of how a TPS sensor works is that basically you're gonna have a ground wire, you're gonna have a signal wire going back to the onboard computer, and you're gonna have power. And the TPMS sensor is gonna have different contacts as it turns. And so when you push the gas pedal, that throttle plate is gonna open, and this is gonna slowly start to go up, and it's gonna have different resistance as it does. And so at idle, it might be like at 1.3 volts, and then as you go to press on the gas slightly, it's gonna go up to like 10% open, and it might be at like 1.9 volts or something like that. And so what happens when one of these sensors go bad is that one of these contact points is not working no more. It has like a dead spot. So say it reached right here at 10%, but that contact point is wore out and it's a dead spot, then the onboard computer is not going to be able to read anything from the TPMS sensor and it's going to send everything erratic. And so the onboard computer is not going to have the right information to adjust the air-fuel ratio mixture going into the engine and it's going to cause issues. Now as soon as it gets past that dead point, the engine might start running good again and it might go up until it reaches another dead point because it's getting wore out too. Then the computer is going to act erratic until you go above or below that bad contact point. And so that's the basics of how the TPMS sensor works. And so how would you go about troubleshooting this? Well, you could use an OBD2 scan tool and you scan the onboard computer for any error codes. For example, if you get like a P0121, then it's going to point you to some kind of issue going on there with the throttle position sensor. And then you can go test it or replace it. And the basics of how you go about testing a TPMS sensor with the multimeter is that you back probe into the wires going from ground to the signal wire. You start the engine and then you have somebody help you slowly press on the gas pedal so that this dial is slowly going to go up and you watch the multimeter and if there's any sudden jumps or spikes or anything like that then you know there's a dead spot and that is having an issue because the voltage should just slowly go up as the gas pedal is pressed so say it was coming up slowly it was approaching 10 percent but this was a bad contact point instead of going 1.9 volts all of a sudden it would just jump it would be like zero or or it could be four volts or something like that it's just going to be something erratic, but it won't be the 1.9 volts that it's supposed to be. So the symptoms of a bad throttle position sensor is going to be like a rough or uneven idle or a surge in the idle or problems accelerating or something like that because the air-fuel ratio mixture going into the engine is getting thrown off since that throttle position sensor has just gone bad and has bad contact points inside of it. And so that's basically it. I just want to go over some of the symptoms of a bad throttle position sensor and the basics of what's going on with it. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.